doors open. And who might you be? A caller, John Marston. Years ago, a friend of mine helped you retrieve your horse and your leg. Oh, yeah, yeah. Come on in. Arthur, wasn't it? It's the one. He, uh, passed soon after that. Ah. Uh, sorry to hear that. I was reading through his journal. Thought I'd pay you a call. Well, I'm grateful for it. It's nice to meet you. Yeah, he was a kind man to me. Hey, you want to go out fishing? Supposed to take him years ago. All right. Sure. Why not? All right. Boat's out this way. Come on. Hello, sir. And who might you be? A caller. John Marston. Uh, years ago, a friend of mine helped you retrieve your horse. You became friends? Oh, yeah. Arthur. Yeah. How is he? Sorry to say, he passed soon after that. Ah, oh, that's a shame. Yeah. I read about you in his journal. Been calling in on folks. Well, I'm grateful I'm one of them. Uh, how you keeping out here? Ah, keeping fine, thank you. It's all right then, is it? <sighs> Living out here, away from civilization? <laughs> civilization? Yeah, I saw what civilization and industrial advancement will get you in the war. Progress, well, it ain't always progress. Besides, I ain't lonely up here. I got company. Yeah, I guess. Come look at these. Arthur caught that. Huh, did he? And he killed that with his hands. That's quite something. Yeah, I got the whole of nature up here. And I'm gonna make the most of it, as long as there still is some. Whoa. They weren't lying. What's this? Right there by the outhouse. Look at the size of that boar. Holy hell. I saw some cattle gourd the other day, but I didn't think it was possible. Hello? Anyone there? Hello! If you are here to rob me, I wish to make clear that I have weapons that could liquefy each of your internal organs in turn and leave you just a puddle on the floor. Professor, I ain't here to rob you. My friend helped you at the pond. He did. Oh, oh the, the buffoon. Yes, he did. <laughs> uh, uh, hello. <laughs> hello. I uh, hope I'm not disturbing you. Of course you are disturbing me, buddy. I almost solved biggest problem, and you mess it up. Theodore Levin, right? Why, yes. Who are you? You still writing that book? Still talking about it, which is probably the problem. Well, are you going to introduce yourself? It's best I don't give you too many details. But an old friend of mine asked me to give you a list of old gunslingers you wanted looked up, and, well, they've been looked up. <laughs> yeah! Well, any good anecdotes? Anecdotes? From the old days. To be honest, things went a little differently. A lot of people got shot. They forgot about us. Just when... Old man. Old man? <laughs> you sh show some respect. I was respected once. I had a profession. You asked my friend to get you something. There's no bringing back what I want. I want my job, my pride. The respect accorded to a gentleman. What about this crap? Hello there. Who are you? I'm a friend of Arthur's. 
He passed a few years back, unfortunately. Oh, uh, sorry to hear that. I've been sending you the bones since then. Oh, I wondered why there was such a hiatus. Well, come in, come in! I'm an old friend of, uh, Tacitus Kilgore. You used to pay him to go find some items for you. He's moved on now, I'm afraid. Tacitus, how can I forget? Well, better seven years late than never, I suppose. Jim Milton. Charmed. I got the plumes and the orchids that you asked for. You did? Oh, the Duchess of Sorrento will be most happy with you. She's an old friend, the Duchess. Gone to see it a little now, but in her youth... I'm not so very sure how I feel about... And who are you? A collector? <sighs> Funny you should say that. Yeah. A friend of mine left me some of your work. Said you gave it to him in a bar. Said you were a... A whole ass, probably. And a drunk one at that. Look at these idiots. You know, I think you knew a friend of mine. You might have even given him some of your work. Arthur Morgan? Yes, yes, I know a lot of people. But please, just help me get out of here. I'll tell you what I want, miss. Civilization! Uh, who's that? Friend of mine was here. Huh? Helped you with some dogs. I've been seeing about this curse of yours. Oh. Welcome, brother. It's a dark omen. Those, uh, charms out in the woods? Yeah. They're all broken. <laughs> all of them? <laughs> so, I guess that's it for your suffering. Ah! <laughs> it's a miracle! We're saved! <laughs> Hello there. Can I help you? I uh, think you knew a friend of mine. A fella called Arthur Morgan. Came by and helped you with some hunting and skinning probably seven or eight years back. Yes, of course. Well, I wouldn't be here right now if it wasn't for him. Yeah. Well, unfortunately, he passed soon after. I figured he might not have had long luck. Such a shame. He found me at my lowest point, and he lifted me up. Glad to see you're doing well, ma'am. He wrote fondly of you. Oh, I couldn't be happier. Listen, it, it's a long way out here. You're welcome to take whatever you need from the house for your travel. No, no, that ain't necessary. Please, I have everything I need and more. But he gave me the ability to survive. And now I'm writing. Any friend of Arthur's is a friend of mine. Please take something. It would make me happy. Well, that's very kind of you, ma'am. You take care of yourself out here, ma'am. Yes? Sorry. I'm... I've got this letter. Sent to an old friend of mine, Mr. Tacitus Kilgore. Now, he ain't with us no more, but I thought maybe I would be of assistance instead. Well, well, well. Let me see if the mayor has any use for you. Follow me, please, Mr. Um, what was it? Oh, I forget. Quite. Welcome to government. Democracy. An interesting idea. Monsieur Le Mieux? Come in. Oh, hello, sir. Hello. Hello. Uh, John Marston. Oh, really? Okay. Now, you are not going to rub me like your friend, are you? No. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, don't worry about it. But you are not a very popular man. There's all kinds of nasty people who want to speak to you, Mr. Marston. Uh, who are you? Found this old letter. The mayor sent it to a friend of mine, Mr. Kilgore. I'm here seeing if I can be of any help. All right. Wait here. Oh, hello. And, and who who are you? My name's John Marston. I'm an old friend of uh, 
was an old friend of Arthur. Uh, Kilgore, you might have known him as. Ah, uh, come in. I was going through his records and saw there was a matter outstanding between the two of you. He mentioned your assistant might be the one to settle up. He here? Uh, come on, yes. Jean-Marc. He's a little histrionic. I am worried that he's going to open his mouth and say things that aren't true to those vulgar Puritans at the newspaper. Well, perhaps true, but not the whole truth. Uh. <laughs> ah, look. Look at these beautiful books. Mr. Arthur, he got them for us. This is magnificent. We'll bring this city back to life if it kills me, and it probably shall. Yeah? Ah, I have two copies of this book. This is an old field guide. Might be of some interest to you, maybe not. But please have it. It's worth quite a bit. Thank you. My pleasure. It's almost like I'm flying. Oh, hello. Can I help you? I think I might be able to help you. My name's John Marston. I heard about your work through an old friend of mine, Arthur Morgan. He passed some time ago. Oh, yes, of course I remember. Arthur, fine fellow. What a shame. Well, that is very kind of you, Mr. Marston. A little assistance here would certainly be appreciated. I've been here before. Have you? Yeah. Funny how things turn out. Ain't never how you expect, is it? No, I don't suppose it is. What you shooting? Eagles. You know, the images, they really are beautiful. All thanks to Arthur. I'd be some poor creature's bad meal by now many times over if it weren't for him. Yeah, so I believe, but move back from the cliff edge. I'm trying to get an eagle there, there. They're beautiful, but unlike you, they can fly. <laughs> Too true. You really must think I'm a buffoon, don't you? You think I'm such a dimwit, I'd just slip off the edge of a cliff. No, but, well, maybe a little. Please, sir. I'm dense, but not that dense. This area is quite safe. Quite, quite. Oh, oh! Ah, uh, damn! You're right. I am that much of a buffoon. Give me a hand, please. Put me out of my misery. Come here. Oh! Oh, oh, oh. Uh. Oh, 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 thank you. You know what? Bugger the eagles, I'm going home. You know, I really did get some, some amazing pictures, mostly thanks to Arthur. And somehow, I haven't quite broken my neck. You take care. And you too, sir. Sorry for all the trouble. Oh. I want to get a drink. I'm parched. Hey, brother. Hey there, mister. Hey there. Mind if I join you? Mind if I... if I talk to you? Fellas sometimes mind, and sometimes they don't mind, and ain't no way of knowing. I don't mind. Oh. I like you. You're kind. I like kindness. I ain't so kind. Now, that ain't true. Ain't true at all. Most folk won't spare me the time of day. But you did. You did. And it was real nice. Real nice. Can I... Can I hold you, mister? Whoa. I'm... Um... <laughs> I got a woman. Ah, oh, I'm sorry, mister. I didn't mean nothing by it. I just kind of like folk, but most folk don't like me. Ah, uh, no harm done. Ain't ever harmful to be held, mister. Only most folk find me creepy and, and strange, uh, which ain't nice. I guess not. What's your name? John. Or, uh, Jim. You don't know? That's funny. <laughs> I used to know a fella. A bit like you. A few years back. Crazy kind of fella. But he had a heart on him. What was his name? I forget. Funny face. Alan. Or something, I think. 
He didn't like me much neither. But he was okay. I think he died. They always do. The good ones. He weren't a good one. He was, well, he was good and bad, and it's hard to say quite what he was in the end. That's so. Sure. That's so. I can kind of see that. Well, it's been fun talking, mister. My name's Mickey. Give a fella some money. You partner? Hey, how you doing, buddy? Okay. And you? Well, only got the one leg. <laughs> Been standing here since about 1870 and uh, slowly starving to death. Uh, sorry I asked. Ah, don't worry about it. Hey, say you a Yankee. I'm not sure. You know, there was a fella I used to see with you a few years back. He was... Tall and a moody face. Yeah, Arthur. He died, I'm afraid. Well, I'm sorry to hear it. He. He saved my life. Is that so? He didn't always seem the type. No. No, he didn't. Come on, then. Show me something I have. 